Hello, my name is Justin Williams with Associated Time and Parking Controls. I'd like to take a moment to show you how to validate your guests' tickets, parking tickets, using the e-validation website that is available right on the internet. If you will open your internet browser, whether it be Chrome or Internet Explorer, whichever web browser you choose, you can navigate to a link that we're gonna send you via email, but if you'd like to type it in now, you can use 50.235.193.250 forward slash parking dot TB. And uh, that link again will be sent to you via email so you can copy and paste it if you would like. But again, if you'd like to try and type it in right now, uh, feel free to navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash 50.235.193.250 dot two five zero forward slash parking dot tb so that will be the link that you can save as a shortcut you can save it as a favorite so you can navigate it to it uh, anytime you open up your web browser and you need to validate your customers parking tickets uh, if you'll save that link ahead of time then you can just pull it right up and it'll navigate to this page that you see here where it asks for a username and password i'm just going to type in my username my password and we'll set you all up with your own username and password however many usernames and passwords you need uh, for folks that need to validate guest parking tickets you can create those accounts when you submit uh, your username and password it logs into the e-validation website where you can see on the left hand side here uh, you've got access to the memorial herman parking garage and whatever company you log in as will show up in this list here. So let's say you're logging in as a doctor's office. Now you have the ability to validate to different doctors if you choose or different uh, different offices if you have if that applies to your situation. So let's say we need to validate for doctor one here. Then when your guest pulls up and they give you the ticket that they pulled from the entry device, uh, you'll see a ticket number on the ticket. In this case, I'm going to use a ticket number 100224. I'm going to apply the validation. And it asks for a note, and these notes can be used for record keeping purposes, for reporting purposes, maybe charge codes, whatever note you feel would be necessary uh, to keep track of the various validations. You can just enter in uh, some, some text here. I'm just going to put some sample text here and hit OK. As soon as you hit OK, that ticket, 100224, is now validated. And when that ticket makes its way to the exit, they can insert that ticket. And because you validated that ticket using the e-validation website here, then it'll pop the gate if the, if the validation covers the entire cost of the ticket. If the guest stays longer than the validation is good for, then the guest will simply pay the difference. Um, using their own credit card at the, at the exit verifier, at the exit device. We'll try that one more time. Uh, let's say we need to validate for Dr. Two. Uh, again, if this applies to your site, uh, let's say we want to use the reduce by $13 validation. I'm going to type in another ticket number. In this case, I've got 100225. I hit apply validation. Again, it asks for a quick note. Uh, this is just some test text here. I'll hit OK. And you can see how every time I validate, it shows up in the list um, you know, which validation type was used, what entry ticket was validated, uh, the entry time, uh, as well as uh, several other uh, bits of information here. And if you scroll all the way to the end, you can see the sample text, you know, the text that you entered in uh, whenever you validated the ticket. So. I've got one more ticket example I can choose, so I might as well go ahead and just show you real quick. I'm going to choose the, uh, the subcompany that applies. I'm going to choose the validation rate that makes the most sense for that, for that guest. And I'm going to type in that guest's ticket number, 100226 in this example. Hit apply validation. And I'll just do some sample text one more time. Again, that's just for record keeping purposes to help you make sense of, you know, who that validation belonged to or why you validated that, that particular guest's ticket. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. Again, um, when the ticket is validated using the e-validation 
website here. Uh, all the guest has to do is take that ticket to the exit verifier whenever they leave the garage. And when they insert that ticket, because it's been validated by the e-validation website, it'll pop the gate or charge them the difference based on uh, if, whether or not they overstayed um, the length of time that the validation is good for. And one quick note, um, we have also installed a license plate recognition system that will be going live very soon. So uh, the license plate recognition system will also help with guests tickets. Whenever the guest pulls a ticket at the entry, when the license plate recognition system captures their license plate, it will assign it to that guest's ticket. So when you validate your guest's ticket, essentially you're also validating your guest's license plate. So at the exit, there's a good possibility that the guest will not even have to enter their ticket into the machine because the license plate recognition system will see that license plate and know that it's associated with a ticket that was already validated using this e-validation website, and it'll pop the gate if, again, they are within the validation timeframe. And again, if they overstay their uh, validation timeframe, then the license plate recognition system will know what time that ticket entered the, the garage and will charge the difference accordingly at the exit station. So hopefully that makes sense. Feel free to give uh, Wind Park your, your contact at Wind Park any uh, questions uh, or comments or concerns and, and we'll get you uh, taken care of as quickly as we can. I'm going to stop sharing the screen here and uh, thank you guys for your time and uh, again if you have any questions feel free to get a hold of Wind Park or Associated Time and we'll get you taken care of. Thank you very much. Have a great day.